Aloha and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. My name is Jayla Scanlon and uh, today we're going to learn a couple of these tools that we'll be able to use uh, in Adobe Photoshop for some of the projects that you will be doing. Um, but first of all I wanted to talk about layers which is pretty much um, what Adobe Photoshop is uh, all about really. Um, so um, for the layers um, panel you'll see on the bottom right hand side and as you can see it has background and you have a lock right here which means that you can't really edit this um, section but we have some tools at the bottom that we can use um, so that we can um, get rid of this background because eventually we will want to get rid of the background and so uh, we can open up a new layer by clicking on this bottom um, button right here and it says create a new layer so click that and then with the background you can either keep it or you can uh, delete it by clicking on the delete button and now we have uh, the same type canvas but we have no color and so uh, let's just go through a couple of the tools that we can do uh, to prepare you for what you can use uh, within Adobe Photoshop so you uh, with layers what I should mention is that um, what you'll be doing is you'll be creating multiple layers um, because on each layer you will have uh, different elements whether it is text or uh, photos or um, paintings, drawings or whatever you want to do uh, within Photoshop and we'll show you how to do that um, in a second uh, but what we want to do is uh, talk about some of these tools now right now I'm in the selection tool which will drag and drop any element that I need um, and I, I guess I can show you in another tutorial uh, you can drag and drop images you can drag and drop uh, text or whatever you uh, need to um, and so uh, let's just start by giving the background a color and at the bottom here is our color palette which you can switch by uh, clicking on these um, arrows and so if you click um, say right here on white you can click on that white and pick a color by just clicking somewhere clicking and dragging will show you a preview of what the color will look like you can also click down on one of these colors if you want to change the color you know uh, but right now I want to just stick to white and now we uh, have our fill tool and this fill tool will fill the whole area with whatever color is uh, in the foreground or with whatever color is in the front so if I set that to black and there we go we have a black background notice also that once that's colored it is layer one that has been colored so if uh, if that layer was deleted uh, then obviously the color will uh, be deleted also let's just redo that again give it a black background and then on another layer you can use another tool uh, you have brushes um, uh, we have the elliptical marquee tool and you can play around with this but pretty much what you can do uh, you can hold the button down and you can have different types of shapes uh, rectangles uh, circle say if we got the marquee tool and we were on layer 4 we can click and drag to make a circle like so and then you can go to the fill tool and say if you wanted to pick a color and make that red or even let's actually let's make it blue I like blue okay and then if you click it actually fills that color um, or that circle with blue and as you can see it's on an, its own separate layer okay so um, and to get rid of this outline you can go to select and then deselect it also has shortcut which you can um, hold control and D so um, now we have the circle and the background is black and then you can use the selection tool and you can move this circle around um, say if we wanted to put it down you know just a little bit you know I don't know make something kinda like an iPod but really small iPod anyways um, and uh, actually let's change that I like white so we can keep it pretty simple there you go and so then you can move on to another layer and you have a lot of different tools you have an eraser uh, which is uh, which is good if you wanna you know if you wanna erase things out but you know you can always undo by going to edit undo eraser 
um, just like in Microsoft Word you can go back and change things if you need to um, the other tools some of these tools you won't really need to use um, but uh, say for what else is there to use uh, we have our fill or oh, text this will be an important one so make sure you have a different layer selected actually with text when you write in your text it will actually um, create its own layer as you can see it's made uh, the layer into the letter T that means that it is a text layer so if we write something in here I'll just write something um, this is uh, just something that I do uh, for fun I make videos and I call it mischief productions and then you can click away and now you have your text and that you can move around also um, so you know there's there's a lot of different tools that you can use as you can see when I'm clicking and dragging if I wanted to um, center it you can you know m use the arrow keys and move that up and down and around and so forth and uh, there's a lot of different things that we can cover but at this point in time uh, we just want to keep it simple and uh, we will also have tutoring sessions for if you want to um, learn a bit more about Photoshop also you can double click on the T and it highlights uh, your text and above here it will show the different types of tools you know similar to Photoshop or to uh, Microsoft Word so we can change you know the text and then uh, while we do that as well we can also change the color um, you know uh, whatever we want it to okay so that is pretty much um, the gist of it right now um, and you can actually make these things um, smaller uh, you can change the font size and drag it down you can you can use one of these or if you go to the actual side and you see the arrows you can drag it left and right and it will actually adjust it for you and so um, okay we'll keep that as that Ooh. as you can see I'm in the wrong layer mischief productions and then drag that and there we go and that's pretty much um, what we're going to cover at this point in time um, for uh, this portion and in the next tutorial we will go into um, importing um, images and other things that you may need to learn for this course. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it and uh, be sure to ask any questions if you need to. My email is on Instructure and uh, my name is Jayla Scanlon and I will see you in the next tutorial.